Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. This video is for a uh, uh, wireless infrared relay board. We're actually selling this as a kit as well. This is the transmitter portion and this is the receiver portion. Uh, what you see here uh, on the transmitter are four transmit buttons, uh, an infrared LED, a, uh, a, uh, an encoder, and a dip switch set. Dip switch set is set to uh, encode at a certain 8-bit uh, uh, code that you can enter in uh, on your uh, dip switch. And you'll see on the receiver board that there's a similar dip switch. In order for the transmitter to properly uh, communicate with the receiver board, what has to happen is you have to make sure that both of the configurations are identical so you're transmitting to the same address. So right now I've got all of my dips set off on both of them so then I can transmit information using infrared from across the room and receive it using this little IR detector uh, it's sent into the decoder chip which uh, reads the uh, the address and then determines which uh, which set of relays should be turned on and off now there's a lot of wires uh, going to a breadboard is uh, so you can, just for the sake of giving you a, a demonstration uh, in a minute um, so what happens is you c it comes with a uh, uh, two plugs. There's an on-off switch for both the transmitter and the receiver. The device require each device requires five volts. Five volts exactly. Uh, it will function between uh, four volts and 5.2 volts, but stick with five volts. It's digital. So anyway, if you look up above. I've got a mess of wires to a bunch of LEDs, and the LEDs um, are actually uh, represented by each of these relays. So this LED is this relay, this LED is this relay, this LED is this relay, and the rightmost LED is the rightmost relay. I've got my switches on. I've got my current limiting resistor going to all of them. So I just wanted to use these uh, LEDs to show you uh, which relays are on when you press certain buttons. I'll power it on. As you see, both of the LEDs turn on. Now, this should have no problem communicating with the receiver board because we have the addresses set to the exact same. You can make your own code up so that um, if you have your relay, your relay device in a an enclosed box, that the another user can't determine what the 8-bit address is and would be fiddling with the transmitter all day before they got they f finally figured out what the code would be so anyway since it's infrared you don't need to aim the transmitter directly at the receiver just like your TV remote you don't need to aim it directly at your TV it will pick it up this will pick it up and am amplify it send that 5 volt digital signal into the decoder at which point it will decide which relays to turn on so let's press button one. So as you can see, the first three relays turned on, and the last one is turned off. I'm going to press button two, button three, button four, button three, button two, button one. Now what you might be thinking is, why are three relays on? And this is true. Three relays are on. What happened was, when we sent this out for manufacture, when we sent this board out to be uh, manufactured and put together, uh, there was a problem with the transistors. Now what you can do is, right now there are uh, NPN transistors driving each of the relays. If you want, after you buy this, to switch those out for PNP transistors, what will happen is, Right now, this relay, this relay would be on, all the rest would be off. Um, it would just be reversed. So this is why, this is actually the reason why we are selling these off at extremely cheap. The, uh, the kits will be slightly cheaper. I'm going to make a video showing you how to put the kit together. And uh, it's a fun little kit. It's, you get a lot of uh, you bang for your buck because you get actually two different boards to work with. The relays can power... Uh, AC, so you can power lamps, you can power a uh, small TV, you get the picture. Uh, the, rate, or the ratings on the, uh, on the relays are, are for high power, so you're good there. You can modify this, uh, and what makes this really interesting specifically is the fact that you set your own 8-bit address. So if I change the 8-bit address on the receiver board, 
now the transmitter won't be able to properly communicate with it because the address isn't the same but if I change right change bit 8 on the receiver to on if I change bit 8 on the transmitter to on pretty cool huh so that's what makes it kinda neat you'd put this into a an, a, a, an enclosed box with just a little bit of room for this for the infrared receiver to detect the infrared beam coming from the transmitter you can wire up uh, AC to, to your terminal blocks here for your reference each terminal block from this perspective the middle pin is the common pin the rightmost pin is the normally open pin and the leftmost pin is your normally cl uh, connected pin so your NC pin so by default if I turn it off right now the common pin the middle pin is connected to the left pin and when the relay is activated the middle pin is connected f to the right pin which is the normally open pin right now I've got all the relays or all the LEDs connected to the normally open pin and ground connected to the common pins so if depending on which relay is turned on uh, a ground is connected to the to that specific LED turning on showing you which relays are on now hopefully you can see that anyway that's the presentation I'm going to be making a video within the next couple days showing you how to put the kit together but again we're selling this at discounted price and you can make your own modifications there's f four transistors on the board if you want the uh, the functionality to, fun to be a little bit different you can mess with those transistors change them with uh, um, PNP so that's it I hope you found it kinda interesting hope you liked it please let me know if you have any questions uh, take care everybody visit engineeringshock.com today